It is the third anniversary of the independence of Trinidad and Tobago. From Independence Square, the Independence Youth Parade is well underway, and the Trinidad and Tobago Cadet Force headed this parade of the country's youth. All youth groups throughout Trinidad and Tobago were represented in this nationwide show of 10 parades located in their respective districts and counties. This proud showing of our nation's youth would not have been possible without the help and direction of the National Youth Conference and the Ministry of Community Development. parade of young people, indicative of the several national and semi-national organizations in the country, points the way to a new national awakening and a higher sense of discipline, tolerance and production. Trinidad and Tobago's youth have established their claim to their country's independence. Here there is no lack of responsibility, no lack of maturity, a show of civic pride and national character. Councillor Edward Taylor, Mayor of Trinidad and Tobago's capital city, takes the salute at Port of Spain's town hall. In his address, Councillor Taylor reminded the youth that they could not accomplish respect of themselves, let alone others, by failing to give just due to those from whom they demand the full measure of reward. At another public parade, this time in the Queen's Park Savannah, the military and voluntary uniformed services of Trinidad and Tobago continue the third independence anniversary celebrations. Trinidad's Queen's Park Savannah, traditional site of many of the nation's official ceremonies, has a history dating back well over 150 years. And today, on its broad acres, 199 of them, this new nation of Trinidad and Tobago enters the fourth year of independence, and the picture is far from gloomy. The Governor General, Sir Solomon Hochoy, Her Majesty's representative in Trinidad and Tobago, inspects the parade. The parade was divided into two contingents. This one, the armed contingent, consisted of members of the Trinidad and Tobago Defence Forces. The Defence Force came into being with Trinidad and Tobago's independence, and they are an indication of our determination to support all efforts for the achievement of lasting world peace. Forming part of the armed contingent as well was a company of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, a traditional feature of all such official celebrations, the police service is a well-trained and highly disciplined guardian of internal security. The unarmed contingent of the parade consisted of members of the Women's Police Force, the Special Reserve Police and the Police Dog Section amongst others. Trinidad and Tobago has received the warmest congratulations and good wishes from a host of other nations. In the three years of our independence, this nation has established a place in the world's international councils. The parade comes to an end. Three years after the flag-raising ceremony of independence, the start of the fourth year in which together we aspire, together we achieve.